Hey there guys, how's it going? Rupert here, back with another painting video. This time around we're doing Johans? Johannes? We'll go with Johans, that sounds right. Or Johans maybe? Johans? Johans will do. Um, it's the last core set guy, uh, who's actually a PC. And he's essentially just a crossbow wielding menace from the look of it. Although he has so much stuff on him. But like there's scrolls, there's, there's an hourglass for some reason, not quite sure why. Now he's got swords, he's got daggers, he's got a crossbow. This guy is armed to the teeth. And he's got a really nice robe, which is always fun to paint, which is actually what we're almost finished with already. Um, so we primed it in our usual grey primer, as we always do. And I'm coming in with Crusted Saw, and this is for all of the robes. I'm also doing his tunic in this colour, but his tunic's going to come out a different colour by the end of it. It's just I will need a base red, because it's a ready sort of colour anyway. And the robe is obviously going to get more flowy and brighter in general. There we go, that was it for the crusted sword. Now we're on to Vallejo's Dead Flesh. And this is for the more sort of fabric y parts. Like, it's sort of an underlayer in terms of armor. It's like a padded version, like layer that you have. And it's an odd color in the concept art. I couldn't quite work out what it was. So I've sort of taken a little bit of artistic liberty and gone with Dead Flesh. Just to add a bit of brightness to the model, as in the end, it's going to turn out pretty dark because there's a lot of dark colors on the model anyway. So we need something light just to break that up. And that would be it for Dead Flesh. Now we're moving on to Dark Stone. And this is for sort of just the leather part, like strap parts and things that he's got all over him. Like he's got a few pouches, he's got the weapon sheaths, there's the scroll bag. One thing I have noticed he's missing is a quiver. So I'm not quite sure where the arrows are hidden for his crossbow. Well, the bolts even, they're not actually arrows in crossbows, they're bolts, but that's a whole other thing. Either way, you need a quiver and he hasn't got one. I also do the boots in this colour as well as the boots look darker than the rest of the robe but at the same time the way that um, in the concept art is dirty it kind of looks the same so this is kind of that artistic liberty part again where I'm just I'm making sure they're separate from the like padded layer and the boots and that would be it for Darkstone now we're moving on to Greedy Gold as he has a few sort of gold armor plates just to make him look that bit more badass. bit for greedy gold now that's done we're moving on to werewolf fur and this is for the crossbow itself as i needed something woody but i don't want to use oak brown which i normally would for wood 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 yes <laughs> um i just needed something that would look different but i don't want to be too dark I, like this model needs light there's so much going on if you have everything dark you'll never see any of it Now that Werewolf Fur is finished, we're moving on to Gunmetal. This is for the steel toe caps on his boots, along with, he's got a few bits of metal just dotted around him. There's metal straps on the crossbow itself. There's the end of the crossbow, which I don't actually know what that's called, but I'm assuming it's for hanging the crossbow somewhere without actually bending the bow itself. Um, also do the handles of the swords in this color and 
Um, I do do the hourglass in this color, but I would probably go back and do that as something else if I was to paint this mini again. And that will be it for Gunmetal, almost anyway. I missed a little bit there, but now that's it for Gunmetal and we're moving on to Tanned Flesh and that is just for the skin. move on to Vallejo Bone White and this is mostly for the scrolls it's just to give it that sort of pop I do go over it with a matte white afterwards but this is enough that it gives it a base layer to work from and you can use the matte white as a highlight I do also as you can see do the um, wrappings on the crossbow and he has I'm not sure what these are they're just sort of weird straps hanging down so I've just done them in white instead of the leather colour, just to make them pop out a bit more, along with the pouch that is just sitting there. And that will be it for the bone white. Now we're on to Elven Flesh, and this is the highlight for the skin. But I say highlight, this is, majority of the skin is gonna be in this colour. It's more of the main colour of the skin. I'm just leaving the tanned flesh in recessed areas. That will be it for skin highlights. Now we're on to Monster Brown for the hair. And of course the beard. But that's part of the head area, so it's all the same really. That will be all the hair done. Now we're moving on to Vallejo's gory red, and this is for the highlight on the robes before the wash goes on. So this is just raised areas, nothing substantial, not doing like a full coverage, but not recessy sort of thing. This is more, very much just the raised areas. But of course, before the wash goes on, you can be a little bit more generous and spread it out a little bit more, but I would avoid that as much as possible but I wouldn't go as far as doing just an edge highlight either. So you need to find some sort of like happy medium between the two. the gory red and now we're moving on to matte white and this is of course for the eyes as eyes always start with a matte white and then completely fall apart because it's really hard to actually paint eyes um, I also do the sort of edge highlights on the scrolls and he has some straps on his chest that I missed so I just quickly paint them in as well And then we're moving on to matte black before we actually move on to the base um, and this is just for the um, eyes and i also do the top and bottom of the hourglass just to separate it from that full metallic look there we go now the eyes are done uh, we move on to flesh wash for all of the skin and also the hair just just so that it blends in a little bit more, it gives him more of a sort of almost a 
gingery color because the flash wash has more red than brown. Once flash wash is done, it is red tone for the cloak and only the cloak actually. I don't do the tunic in this. This is why the tunic is actually going to look very different even though they have the same base color. And then finally we come in with soft tone for everything else. There we go, that is all the washes done and now that they're dry I just come in and paint the base black. But normally this would be my last thing and to be honest this can be the last thing it's not you don't have to do the next step that i do i just i like painting red robes so i'm going to add another highlight afterwards there we go, that'll be the base done and you as i said you could have left the mini as that but I've come in and I'm just doing another more, a more extreme edge highlight. Well, I won't say an edge highlight because those are quite thick lines I'm putting on there. But it's a raised areas highlight, essentially. Just to bring that red back up a little bit more and let it blend in with the already gory reds there. Just so that you got that nice flow, essentially. there we go that is it for all of the mini and now we're on to the final images and i've enjoyed painting this because other than the robe it's actually got i like having a decent amount of detail which is something i do like on certain minis some minis just don't but that is the end of this video guys and the end of this mini like subscribe if you enjoyed and i will catch you in the next one see ya